Hi, I'm Kinect Bowman, and I'll be performing a quality rep on problem 49 from section 4.1. So as you can see here, the problem statement is find the absolute max and absolute min values of f on the given interval. Uh, for this problem, there are no assumptions. And then and then formulation is just the given function. Uh, f of x equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x plus 1. And then the interval we are looking for our absolute max and absolute mins are on negative 2, 3. Now, as you can see here, uh, as graphed in Mathematica, we pulled it straight from there and here's our graph. Next, we have our methodology. First, we find the derivative of our function f of x, uh, then use the power rule, uh, sum difference rules, and constant function derivative rules, all found in the Stewart textbook with their pages. Um, next, we use the closed interval method, page 281, and then we find the critical numbers by setting f prime of x equal to zero. After that, we find values for f by substituting our endpoints and critical numbers back into our given function. Then step three of the closed interval method states the largest values of f is the absolute max and the smallest value is the absolute minimum. As you can see here, we have our results with our given function, with our uh, derived equation, we have f prime of x equals 6x squared minus 6x minus 12 plus 0. Then we set it equal to 0 to find our critical numbers. Uh, then we factor out the 6 and then divide both sides by 6, which gets rid of the 6. And then we are left with x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 1 equals 0. Then we set those and subtract and add the numbers to get our critical numbers. And then we plug our endpoints and our critical numbers into the original function. So now we have f of negative 2 equals negative 3, f of 3 equals negative 8, f of 2 equals negative 19, and f of negative 1 equals 8. So our absolute max for this interval is located at f equals negative 1, which is equal to 8, and our absolute min located at f of 2 equals negative 19. And as we can go back to our graph, we can see here we have our absolute max and our absolute minimum. Thank you.